Hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Oh, it's very dark around here. Don't you think? So I'm kind of thinking it might be cool to start the episode with a little bit more construction stuff. Let's see what lights we've got at the moment. Oh, we only have the super boring lights. Boo. I'm guessing we unlock better lights as we do more research. So probably we'll get better things to build with as we do more research. But anyway, maybe we could just add a couple of like lamps around here just to make things a little bit less dark. And when I get some better lamp posts, I'll add them in. I swear I can hear wolves. Why don't we give the reindeer a light? Now we'll just give them one light above their little pen there. I think that just makes it, it gives it a little bit more pizzazz. Definitely. But we need to do lots of research, lots of mechanic research so that this zoo can have all of the cool building materials. This is probably why we don't necessarily have, like, there's supposed to be a load of art stuff. Look at that, for example. You get all sorts of cool, like, looking shapes and things. I guess they just pick up the natural terrain. And you can use all of these to build whatever you want, like sculptures and stuff. I am not clever enough to do that. Don't have any centerpieces yet. Got a few like letters and things for props. We've got some banners, some tree stumps and things. An inside out umbrella. But the zoo seems to be making a super small profit, but it is profitable right now. The people seem quite happy with our little reindeer pen, which is very good. Would be very happy if I could get some enrichment in there for them, but not quite yet. Probably not making a profit because I was spending it on stuff. Now, I imagine it would be very nice for the people coming into the zoo to have a couple of things to drink and eat and all that sort of thing. So let's have a look at their guest needs. They do need food and drink. They like the, uh, you can really tell they put a medium amount of thought into the planning. Wow, <laughs> that's like harsh. I hope the traffic home is okay. Time's up, I got to get home. The education isn't great. So maybe an information center on the way in might help a little. I don't know, we'll have to see. So I'm kind of thinking What is this? They have given us places to put our exhibits in. Oh, how joyous. I've been wanting those for ages. When did they get added? They must have been with the expansion that came with the Arctic pack. <gasps> so good. Toilet blocks and stuff. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh yeah, there's a whole section, small animal exhibits. They probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe they watched me, maybe they didn't, but they maybe saw my pathetic attempts to try and make an exhibit section. And, 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 you know, just putting these pathetic little blocks of exhibit down with nowhere to put them. So yeah, I, d I definitely think those were, they were needed, 100%. I'm going to stick in an educational speaker. I want to know on the overlay how far the power stretch is. All the way around. So we could put a little educational speaker in down here. And I need to do what I didn't do before. Because I'm a muppet sometimes. And that was to actually tell it to talk about reindeer. Because it was not doing that before. So I'm hoping that that will do something towards the guest education. Yeah, look, it's already at one. 
I was I was being very silly about my education before in the other zoo, and I might go back there and, and improve it at some point. It's like, you spent some money, we're in negatives. It's like, oh, come on. So, I want to give them some food and drink and all that sort of stuff, so I'm going to give them the basic shop shell. Oh yeah, I can see how they, I can see kind of how they made that now. They've, you know, the roof and everything. That they used for it and all that stuff. Interesting. So, I will put in here. Mm. A copy soda information center, loony balloons or chief beef. Well, I kind of want all of them, so... Why don't we do the information center? Add to the group. Down it goes. You see, I know how to do it with this. Why did I not know that with the roof? Although you guys only didn't really see me struggling with the roof as much. You just saw me finish off the roof in the last episode. Whoa! Whoa, where, where, ah, where did I go? I pressed Q, apparently. Right, so that was... What was that I put down there? Loony balloons. Information center. Okay, right. So then, how about uh, loony balloons next? I hope this is okay. Ha ha ha, loony balloons. And then we'll put another shop shelf just on the other side. Again, I don't want it too close. Um, otherwise, you end up with massive queues all over the place. Is that kind of square with that one? I want them to be square with each other. No, they're not, so I'm going to move it because that's just the sort of person I am. Right, there we are. And then we're going to get chief beef and gulpy soda in there. Now, that's going to cost me a lot of money um, to put in because, obviously, now that means that I'm relying on the profits from these buildings to pay the vendors that I'm now hiring. So we shall see. Oh. That's chief beef. And then there's a gulpy soda. Wonderful. So we've got food and drink and information. So they come into the zoo. I wonder if I can like do guest camera because you could do that in the previous one. Like, if I come out of the edit editor, much better. A lot of them look quite cold. I wonder if I can sell like sell them jumpers because <laughs> that's the sort of thing I always think about. They're like, oh, I'm so cold. Can I sell you a jumper? You look like you're in shorts and t-shirts there. Mwahaha. -ha. Yes, guest cam. Oh, that wasn't quite... Oh yes, first person, right. So look, we can be a guest. We can kind of look around. In the first person view. What all the other guests look like. They all look super duper cold. Look how happy she is. She's like, hello, I gave you a gulpy soda. And then you've got orbit mode. Which just follows him, I guess. Drinking his gulpy soda with his earphones on from the information center. Oh yes, we are selling well. And then of course there's always one shop that has no queue. <sighs> so why do you not have a big queue when everywhere else has a big queue? People just not ready for you? Oh. Okay, yeah, they're getting their balloons as well. Fabulous. We're doing some good trade here. Spent a lot of money on that, but worth it. So at the moment, this is just a reindeer park. Um, the guest happiness is through the roof. The animal rating is two already, which is pretty good. So these new animals are very good. Okay. So I'm going to do a tiny bit more decorating on the reindeer pen, and then we're going to start on the polar bears. Now, oh, oh actually, before I do that... Oh, ah, yeah, you need to move. 
I click on her, I don't want to go into the menu for the quarantine. Oh, I, I click on you. Move. There we are. Right. In the reindeer pen you go. There's your new home. I know we haven't been going for very long, but have we got any pregnant reindeer yet? Two! Yay! That's the easy way to check. So we've got two babies on the way. Fantastic. My plan, it has come to fruition. And we'll see how, what the uh, genetics are like on that. We've got some vet research done, so we can now give the reindeer some extra cool uh, enrichment items with a bit of luck and possibly an upgrade to their food. So if I click on the habitat barrier, we might we'll be able to see if we're allowed to give them better quality food, which we are, so I will. Um, and then we can have a look in the habitat screen. See how much better I'm getting at all of this, at all the different things. And um, we've actually learned a lot of things about these reindeer. Fantastic. I'll give you loads of cool stuff then. I'll give you a herb enrichment thing. I'll give you a large feeder barrel. I'll put that at the top there. And it rolled down the hill. Oops. We can give you a football. A very big football. And we can give you a snowball! Hurrah! I'm gonna give you two because I love them so much. We can give you giant snowballs to play with! They've rolled down all the hills I made! <laughs> I wanna see a reindeer playing with a snowball. That's like my thumbnail. <laughs> Amazing. These guys are so cute. You look at you! I'm gonna look at you in animal camera. Look at their big old hooves! That's so cool. Okay. Next, animal trading. So my hopefully my new my new reindeer's in there now. And she might breed as well. Wow. Well, I got my male reindeer for quite the quite the bargain price, didn't I? But we're going to go to have a look at the polar bears now. Hopefully, I won't miss a deal. Oh, we've got po no. Oh, that's a reindeer. No, I was so excited then. I was like, we've got cash ones. No, we do not. No, we do not. There we go. We got one for three hundred and ninety-nine. That is not a bad price. Um, how old are you? You're ten years old. I'll have to go and have a look on CPD at their length of life. And then another male, and then all the females are super, super duper expensive. So I need to see if I put a polar bear in, if they will be happy on their own until a female becomes available. So, number one, how long do you live? Yeah, grade four fence, okay. I'm gonna put them in a pit anyway, so that might not matter. Um I've given away my secret. So uh <laughs> they will sexually mature at seven years and live till they're thirty, so it doesn't matter too much if I get a ten year old. They'll only just be mature. That's fine. Yay, we're about to have a reindeer baby. Then they take three years to have the next one. And it is difficult to get them to reproduce. Okay. Okay. They can live on their own. But the male bears will fight over mates. Better to have one male bear. And have one up to two. Well, you can have up to. T yeah, they need to live on their own, really. Okay. And they're going to be a bit like the cheetahs. They're going to be a bit, bit of a, a, a trouble. Right. So we now have litter in the zoo because we've just put food stalls and things in, but we haven't put bins in. So I'm going to need some bins, and uh, otherwise the caretaker is going to get a little bit overrun. So we have a recycling bin. And a normal bin. We'll put them on there, and then we'll put one on the other side over here. Okay. 
They're basically, they sound like the Sims, don't they? Like, dubba dea dubba do. Nabba nea ma ba 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 da. They've got their own little language. It might actually be Simlish, you never know. So how happy are my reindeer now? I've given them all this enrichment stuff. They're 95% happy now. We've got 91% of their enrichment items. Got researched almost straight away. I was super happy with that. Nice. I gave them another barrel feeder. They might even be 100%. Okay. Oh, this is relaxing music, huh? I'm going to get back into animal trading. Now I know a bit more about these guys and how difficult it is to breed them and stuff. I'm going to want one with a bit of a higher fertility gene. So I'm going to buy you because you are pretty cheap right now. And then I'm going to keep an eye out. Wow. <laughs> the polar bears are going quick. They may have to save up for this polar bear. They may have to sell lots of reindeer babies or something. Okay. We have had baby or baby, baby reindeer. Where? Where are you? Where is your baby? Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. Let's have a look at ya. Ah, oh, you're so cute. You're all fluffy and your hooves are too big for your face. Ah, oh. Run, little reindeer, run. Okay, now we've had a little look at the actual reindeer, tortoise, the new reindeer. Let's have a look. We've got 100% fertility on you. Wonderful. Are you male or female? You are female, which is great. But I am going to need to manage you with the male that we've got in at the moment. Um, because obviously you are related, so when you grow up, we're going to have to... Now someone was saying that you have to reapply contraception to a baby when it grows up. Oh, they're complaining about no security. I always wait until they complain before I hire the security guard. I'm terrible with that. Wonderful, we're still making a nice profit there. Obviously we're nowhere near the... I say, is a... Now we're in profit, it just went down, dipped down for a second there, but it's, it's mostly in the positive, seemingly. Okay, are we gonna start on the polar bear pen yet? Well, maybe, maybe we will. So how long does it take for you to, to get to be sexually mature? Because I need to know how old you're going to be when that's going to happen. Family in this zoo, parents, siblings. Oh, you're a different one. You're a different baby. We've got two babies now. And we've got Tordis, who is your sibling. Are you a boy or a girl? You're another girl. Fantastic. So we've got a whole new load of um, girly ones. Which is fantastic. Because that means that uh, when these ones... When I put a new male in, then all of them can breed. With the new male. So that's brilliant. Who is Snapchatting me in the middle of a recording? <gasps> How dare! Oh, someone who has eaten a whole cake or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can't find a staff room. Looks to me like you just, just come out of the staff room. So is the staff room struggling? Is there lots of people in it? Oh, cool. 
and give them staff training. I never gave them staff training before. Can I do that from the zoo menu now? Because I thought clicking on that gave them their staff training. But will it? Employment training. I might train up my keeper. That might be good. My reindeer is about to mate. Lovely. There's the high litter. Oh, they all managed to find the staff room all of a sudden. All of my vendors have decided to go on the break at the same time. Right, so I need to try and work out if I can give them like some kind of work rotation. They're all on the way back. But I want to see if I can. We've got an overview here. Staff room perk, we can give them that in a minute. I can't do all this work by myself. Employment. Work zone chief beef, work zone manager. Okay, that'll be for when I do put work zones in. Staff statistics, time spent on duty most of the time. Training. I'm going to give them staff training so they can get rid of the queues faster and stuff. I'm also going to hire one more vendor. I guess I need one at least extra one for cover. Mm, okay. I'm going to have one more. They are saying they're overworked. Okay. So the ones that have high workload are the important ones to train, I would say, that like the vendors. So I'm gonna have a look at the vendors now. We've got high or efficient workload. The security guard, as usual, has a low workload. The vet has a very high workload. And the keeper has a very high workload. Could have one more keeper. But that is all I'm doing, okay? Because I don't want this zoo to go unprofitable. Yeah, they got no food right now, you see, so I could make, maybe do with an extra keeper. Okay, now now let's start. I think I, I have my polar bear in animal trading right now. My polar bear that I got for my nice cheap price. Bargain polar bear. Did I buy that? I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. We got a male polar bear, okay? Let's see what's in there right now. A female polar bear with not fantastic genetics but you know what that is the best one i've seen so far and i'll research them and i'll try and get their fertility up and stuff I, I, i'll i'll see what i can do i'm gonna have to buy in new polar bears every so often and it's possibly gonna cost a lot of money but you know it's fine see they came from frontier zoo frontier zoo frontier zoo the people that are actually selling them. Whoever Wackle Brood is. You see all these ones are... So basically the only ones that we're getting for any kind of reasonable price is the Frontier Zoo ones. Which are the ones that the game I, I believe is giving to us. So. Polar Bear Pen. How much room does a polar bear need firstly? I don't want their pen to be too, too huge for them. But what we're going to do is make a big old hole in the ground. And we're going to put the polar bears in it. 
But we're going to have a bridge over the top as well. Oh, golly gosh. This is an episode with lots of interruptions. Now my headphones need swapping. G U G G. Try to be professional. Done. Okay, so we're going to start off with the terrain modifications that I need. Now the zoo's making a bit of money, but I'm still not gonna actually pause it because I want to I want to keep an eye on everything that goes on. So I want to go down to a certain level. Um now I think they need to go. Uh, I wanna push the ground down. What does chisel do? Oh yeah, that's kind of what I want. I want quite a steep looking... I'm going to undo that though. Because I'm going to want the, the size of the cursor to be much larger. And what I basically want to do is chisel them a couple of holes. Can I change the um, shape of the brush? Doesn't look like it, unless there's a setting. No, that is the settings. Okay, it's fine. I may need to like flatten in a minute, but yeah, chisel seems to be the right the right tool. Okay, so now I probably need to do a little bit of um, pushing, pulling, or maybe even just making a smaller sized one. And just sort of chiseling out. Mm, how can I, can I be a bit more? Oh, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty ridiculous, that one. I'm just going to chisel down some of the edges there. I can. And then I might need to flatten a little bit down the bottom there. Flatten to foundation. There we are. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay, cool. I might need to go down further than this, though. But this is... I'm just getting the idea of the tools I want for what I've got. I have a little bit of an overhang there. I'm going to give them loads of rocks and a pool and all sorts of stuff. Oh, this is great. This is exactly what I need. Okay, so if we've got too many, like, craggy, weird overhangs, or is that pretty good? That seems pretty good. Now I need to know like what the height on that is and, and what height a polar bear needs before it can like jump out. Because what I'm hoping is that the polar bears will not be able to climb that, but I don't know how high that is. However, a way to check would be to put a barrier in. Oops. At its standard height and that is about 2.31 meters. Therefore, controls that back out. That's about two meters. So, how high does a polar bear need to go? And also, what I'll need to do is put in a uh, one of the barriers. Wherever it 
there it is. There is a barrier that counts as uh, a null barrier. Define the perimeter of a habitat where a barrier is needed, e.g. a river for animals that can't swim, or your giant bear pit. So actually I want, I do want more of a sort of, get it more into the corner there. So I'm gonna need to do a little bit more playing around. Okay, it's fine. I still want my flattened foundation tool. I'm gonna pull that a bit closer to the path. It's funny how this is actually easier to do than the blinking barriers are sometimes. So we're just gonna follow around. Where the path is gonna go. And then my sort of null barrier will, will probably have to just go around the outside of here. Now. Hmm. One thing I have not thought of here. How are the keepers gonna get in? We'll have to think about that in a second. How are the keepers gonna get into the bear pit? The bear pit is also rather huge. I'm hoping that's not too big. to foundation. Oh yes, I remember what I wanted to do here. So, um, what I wanted to do was like a land bridge. And I went over. But it'll need to be very chiseled. So I, what I need to do then, uh, hang on. So I want to flatten to surface here. And I want to flatten to this surface. So basically building here a land bridge. That will go across. But again, that should still be quite... Um, Okay, so what I may need to do is uh, push the ground down further so that the that land bridge can be sort of tunneled underneath. Okay, I, I'm experimenting here, okay. Big experiment. Oh, I need a bigger cursor than that. We'll redo the Lambridge in a minute, okay? Whoa! Uh, whatever I last did there, probably need, might need undoing. Hang on. There, so now if I redo the, um, the flatten to surface, with a much smaller cursor than that. Uh, was it two I had? Something like that. What we'll get is effectively a land bridge that goes over. That's cool, isn't it? Go on, join up. Whoa! Didn't know I could do that! I'm gonna make this a little bigger. I'm gonna undo all of the stuff I just did there. Cause I'm, I'm finding stuff out all the time about how to do all of this, it's so cool. 
I think I want it a bit. Oh. My stuff configured to my G keys on my keyboard. That's uh, an unusual thing for a game to do. Come on, back you go. Back you go. I still need to work out what I'm doing for my keeper gate. I'll have to do something funky and fancy. I need to continue the path as well. Let's get the path around. This is seven meter. What? Seven meter icy path. Should have placed that path before I did all of that. And if the path is going to be like seven wide, I'm going to need this much, much wider. This whole flattened to surface thing that I'm trying to do. It's going to be cool when it's done, okay? <laughs> right, flattened to surface. So we want to flatten to this surface. And it needs, it does need to be about seven white so that it will cover the whole of a path going across it. Okay, keep going. There we are. I hope the polar bears can fit under there. Okay, so how big is a person? A person could fit under there. I can chisel that up a little bit as well. Go underneath it. Whoop! Make big craters in the ground. No. You can raise it up a bit with the chisel tool. Underneath. I'm finding all these things out for myself just now, too. This is quite the creative pro process. <laughs> Got a little bit too... Um, it's not thin enough underneath, basically. It's not a very good land bridge. I'm hoping this will just look a little more natural than the, the, the thing that I had for the... The grassland animals. Okay, so how's that looking? Let's go and have a look at that from afar. Oh yes, that's much better. However, I've chiseled the bottom out as well as the top. Oops. Didn't realize that would be a thing. I need to smooth it. I um, Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can do this. We can smooth this thing. Smoothing the bridge as well. That's no bad thing. I'm going to want to give them something for water as well. You can't admit this is cool, right? I do wish I could have got the path to snap slightly closer there or to chisel it out a bit more. I wonder if I could, if I could still do that at this point. Flattened to foundation, wasn't it? And that needs to be much smaller. Not quite that small. 
It'd be about that big. And we can maybe still... Oh, no. Chisel out a good section there. I might need to do a bit more smoothing, but it's fine. Oh gosh, no. I don't want that. Can I push that away? Yes. And then give it another little smooth around there. Smoothy, smoothy, smooth. Push some of these little rough edges out as well. She lab is the terrain master. <laughs> she thinks anyway. Okay. Getting nice stuff going on here, actually. That would be a good place for a hard shelter, actually, because it's fairly flat there. And they're going to want a pond, too. Okay, let's see if I can get the path to go across the land bridge. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm also going to need a place for a keeper to get in, and I will need to fence that off. Um, and that might cause me some issues, too. We'll see. I mean, like, I'm being ambitious, okay? And that is never a bad thing, right? Okay, go there, no, there, and there, and kind of, no. Okay, okay, yes. We do have a slight wiggle in the middle there. Which I will probably delete, actually, I don't like that at all. So I need to do a little bit more terrain modification to the center, just to see if I can get... I think I need to just widen that out a little bit. So if I do a pull command on the on the edge there, can I just widen it? I may need to flatten it a bit as well. Let's just see if the path will go over there now. Right, it will, but I might need to just delete the path over here quickly. Oh, okay, that's too uneven there. Right, let's see if we can flatten that out a bit. Can I smooth it a little bit? Does that help? Let's try again. Yay! My totally not dangerous path over... <laughs> I think that should have, like, barriers or something. <laughs> Even if they are just decorative ones. I wonder if I can add a barrier to a path. But how cool is this going to be? I'm going to probably just um, push down on this side a little bit more to make that into their pool. That'll be their pool area. And this will probably be the way in. Um, I'm going to throw my phone out of the window. Pizza Hut haven't heard from me in a while. Because I ordered from Domino's yesterday. I think they know. <laughs> okay. I need to basically put in some kind of ramp so the keeper can get in. Here seems like a really good place. I also need to put in a, a, a null barrier. But I need to do this in such a way that they can't climb out. So a keeper has to get in, but they can't climb out. So to do that, I am unfortunately going to have to put some kind of uh, small barrier in, I think. I'm going to put a hedge barrier in to start with. I'm going to put it right in there. I'm gonna curve it around. Give me curves. Mm. 
Don't like it at all. What else can we do? Think she lab think. Here's a place. Where we could put a barrier through. So. Mm, but then I want that to be their pool. I don't want that to be the entrance for the keeper. But it might have to be. So uh, if I put a ramp down there. Then I will need a habitat gate at the top of the ramp. Let's just make the ramp first. They're gonna have to have a ramp or they can't get in. So that's very simply the case there. All right, so we're gonna smooth it that way. So it's kind of making a nice smooth ramp. Oh, you know what? I'm a, I'm a dummy, I'm daft. Undo all of that. Because I'm pretty darn sure all I need is a staff path going down with a habitat gate at the end. Let's try that. So, what, what colour staff paths are we having around the zoo? I don't even know. Uh, red, I think. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> ugh. If this works, I will be pretty delighted, though. Oh, come on. The terrain is too uneven. So I'm going to need to do a little smoothing. Let's see if that will help. Sometimes that's all you need, a little bit of smoothing. I do all that effort to build that land bridge so that it, I wouldn't have an ugly path going down. And now what have I got? An ugly path going down. Damn, bleh, bleh, what's happening? No. Oh, I had that so right then. Gee. Okay, let's try again. Why am I such an Egypt? Why is this not working? Come here, come here. <laughs> Okay, so I st I'm going to stop making it there. I'm going to see whether a habitat gate, where that can go. And where the barrier should go as well. Because this is all very new to me and it, it, it could go very wrong. Okay, yes, okay. I can indeed have a... a I'm going to just do that. Have a habitat gate that just goes from the bottom of the stairs there. A 
I mean, it's not the most beautiful looking thing in the world. Or we could maybe have a habitat gate up here. No, it seems to need to be on the end of a path, which is unfortunate for this design. What does it? I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try seeing whether a path can continue after a habitat gate. I don't know whether that's something that you can do. Oh, go away. What am I doing? Path. Delete. I'm going to delete that part of the path, okay? And put in a habitat gate there. Might need to go that way around. I may need to delete more of the path as well. Okay. Because uh, I don't really need more than just the steps. Yeah. All right. So I've got my snowy steps there. And then I just put my habitat barrier in here. Mm, it looks a bit silly. But then do I need a habitat gate with a null barrier? Let's try it. Let's see. Let's just like play and see. Because it might be that I don't. I just need some steps to go down. Now we need to know, can polar bears use stairs? <laughs> can polar bears use stairs? Okay, I need to put the polar bears in here. I'm hoping that polar bears can't use stairs. I need to put a null barrier in. This is a big experiment for me, okay? For a null barrier, it probably doesn't really matter too much where it goes. Because the idea is that the terrain is doing the barrier work for me. I've never worked with null barriers before, so I kind of assume that they can that a keeper can just step through. But no one else will be able to even really see this barrier. So I don't even have to make it too neat or anything. Yeah. Oops. Don't need that. So that to me, that's my barrier there. Oh, it's not counting as a habitat because it doesn't have a because it doesn't have a habitat gate. So you have to have a habitat gate on a null barrier. That seems silly. That seems absolutely daft. So what I will do then? Undo the entire barrier. that's it done I'm gonna go back with my old plan of putting a habitat gate against here and then put a null barrier around so it looks like the gate is to make them unable to use the stairs 
I think that looks the most sensible. I wish I could add a little bit of, uh, of like a barrier section to the stairs. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. I could do that maybe. Hang on, let's uh do that. Around there, okay. So it just looks like it's yeah, like it's connected to the stairs there. Nope. Uh -uh. Okay. Come out of the, the barrier thing. Go back in. Do another one on the other side. That stops the polar bears getting out. Okay. And then go for the null barrier. Gosh. It's taking some thought, isn't it? Null barrier, please. Thank you. And then the null barrier. What is obstructed? A oh, goodie. By what? By stupidity. Probably by being too close to the wall. So let's move that very slightly out and around. Let's do the same on the other side. And just see if that helps at all. Might not look so good, but maybe it'll work. There we are. Okay, well, I want to make the null barrier a bit, a bit longer sections. Maybe not quite that long. That long will probably be fine. And what we're doing here really is just defining the edge of the of what we define as the habitat. I don't know how well this is gonna work or whether they're gonna constantly think that the polar bears have escaped. I'm just trying to define the bar the, the habitat with this barrier. I have no idea if this will work at all. I mean, it might be that I need to define the barrier, go up the slope with it. That needs deleting. Did that delete in the end? No, go away. Did I get rid of that one up the top? No. How do I get it to show up now? Oh, phew. This is a difficult task. I actually think I might need to just do this slightly differently, actually. I've got this feeling that what I need to do is to send the null barrier right up to the top of the stairs and go all around the edge like I was before. So I want to try doing that from here. I know this is a toughie, this, this build, eh? Toughie. Tough we build. And 
and I still don't know if it'll work. And I thought I'd already gotten rid of you. Arg. Why won't you die? I need a way of selecting it to delete the barrier. Oh yeah, delete. Perfect, right. Null barrier. Curved. Unfortunately, that barrier going up the hill was too long. So that needs to be deleted as well. I get that off my cursor, nice, okay. Make that shorter, oh, okay, cool. It didn't look to me like I was gonna be able to just make that shorter there, so I, I just went with doing it that way. So we'll go like this. And then we can probably make the barrier a bit longer. So it doesn't take me the rest of my life to make this enclosure. It's already taken me quite a bit of my life. I hope this is worth it, guys. We'll see. So in theory, no one's supposed to really see this barrier. I'll just do that there. I might have to put some stands up for the uh, exhibit information as well. Okay, and then the idea will be that we go down the slope there. And eventually join up. Oh yes, it worked. Ha -ha. Okay. Now let's put some polar bears in there. I've got some ready for quarantine. I, I want them in here by the end of the day, okay? And they might be very unhappy in there, but uh, we will try it. Close quarantine, please. What? There's like millions of them now. It always happens to me, but I didn't pay bad prices for them, so it's fine. You get to quarantine. Oh, doesn't that look quite interesting? Yes. Yes, it does. I do wish I didn't have to have those walls quite so janky there, but... If anyone has a way to, um, to do this sort of pen without having this way in for the keepers, do let me know. I could have maybe given the, t the keepers like a tunnel in, maybe? There is a broken barrier over here. Luckily it was by... What are my mechanics doing then? They have literally one barrier to keep nice. One. One barrier. That's all they have to do. Can't even do that. Luckily the dudes didn't escape. So it's fine. So what's the barrier status now? 5%. Well, the mechanic's on route. We'll see how that goes. Is the mechanic really struggling? Probably, because I have one mechanic. I think you need more than one. I'm not saying he's got an efficient workload. 
I'm like, well, okay. I suppose you won't have a barrier to deal with in this one. Because the barrier is made of terrain. Okay, let's uh, let these guys quarantine quickly. They're going to need a pool, I think. So we'll just push this all right down even further and make them like a pool. Yay, more reindeer babies! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I am... Um... I didn't think female reindeer had antlers. Am I right, right or wrong in that? Let me know. I thought the whole point of antlers was it was like a whole mating thing for males to like fight with each other and stuff. But I could be wrong there. That looks really janky there. I might need to do a little bit of messing around with this. I'll probably mess around a little bit with the, the terrain there. So we've passed quarantine. Very nice. Have they both passed quarantine? Yes. Yeah, we're going to move them into their new place and then we will see what things they are happy or unhappy with. Why is this Habitat 3? Should be Habitat 2. I'll rename it. Um, I'm going to uh, get the patron list up again. And you guys can be champions of the animals again. Hmm. This is where they can't take them into their habitat. Oh, come on. Like, I've given you stairs. You have stairs to get into this pen, okay? Don't be so dumb. <sighs> Can't do anything interesting in this game. <laughs> you do interesting things and they're like, no, no. How dare. I am not going to take them there. I am not going to go downstairs. Right, so I can't get the polar bears into the pen. Well, that really, really sucks. I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to have a little look at this. So, it is saying that this is not a good habitat gate or something. I don't know. But it, it, it's like they can't get in. And that frustrates me because, like, you give them stairs, you give them a way in. So, I don't understand why that doesn't work. Because when I say move... Habitat 1, we've got Habitat 2, Habitat 2. And they just can't path it. The caretaker cannot path that. And that's so frustrating. I tried so hard. So we're going to have to do some... Messing about with that. Oh, man. That's really upsetting. Super upsetting. Oh! No, I know, I know, I know. It's fine. It's fine. The staff path isn't complete. What a muppet. That was the simplest thing as well. I almost completely redesigned the entire thing just because I hadn't given them a path. That's so ridiculous. Now will you do it? Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna. Yes! Haha, <laughs> it works. Okay. Well, so far it works. 
I'm just gonna, I wanna see them in there, okay. Inspector report was pretty good for cleanliness anyway. How's this barrier doing? Ah, oh, cool, that's been fixed. Wonderful. So yeah, like I say, if anyone knows an improvement to that arrangement, let me know. Because I'm not entirely um, loving that. Right, Mr. Polar Bear, do you are you happy in your place? 8% welfare. Wonderful. Most of it, though... Space, really? Oh, they need more space. Okay, I can easily give them more space. I will just um, extend. And give them a pool. So that's fine. They uh, they have plenty of hard shelter because their land bridge counts as hard shelter. Yes, it does. But yeah, I didn't think that the land area in that huge enclosure would be uh, would be too small. But it is, but that's fine, because I don't mind. I will just delete the path and make it bigger. Oh, now I've got to mess about with that stupid barrier though, which is really annoying. But that's fine, I'm happy enough with that. What else is wrong with their welfare? Social group, it's balanced. So it really is just their space and stuff. I'm gonna start the vet on some research for them as well. Um. But yeah, I can't believe their space is too small. What? That's a huge amount of space they need. They need 6,000 meters. So what is this pen size? That's 2,000 meters. Yeah, it needs to be huge. But that's cool. What do the guests think that are coming across here? Do you like the view of the polar bears? The ticket price is great. It's so cold. The scenery sucks. Oh, wow. I could give you better scenery, I guess. Too long at Gulpy Soda. So I need to train the vendors up, really. See bigger and better seats. Well, that will that'll improve as I uh, in increase it. So we've got the polar bears in. Okay, well, one of them anyway. Well, but I think both of them actually, because the social group was saying it was good now. Mm, maybe not. Maybe we'll let it play just until the second polar bear is in, because obviously. So, next uh, time, because I'm going to have to end this episode right now. It's been an hour and a quarter long. But, oh. The challenge is making this polar bear thing. But it seems to be working. It seems to be working. So what I will do... Why are protesters do not like the fact that my polar bears aren't too happy? Oh, some money for the guest numbers, which is awesome. So I'll, I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. I'll probably... I might do some more smoothing of the land bridge. I'm going to increase the size of it, smooth some of the edges of their pen out a little bit more, I imagine. It's, it's pretty bad. Did I need to tell you to move over here? Get my other polar bear in here, please. But yeah, I think I might have to leave that till next time. I'm going to record it straight away, so it's fine. It's just a, a break in the episode for me. But I wanted to show you guys at least the very starts of this and how I was going to get it to work. Um, like I say, I, it could have maybe done something better with the, the stairway down. Might still play around with that a little bit. Might give them like maybe a bit of a cave or something into the side of the mountain or something cool like that. Maybe a rock, maybe a rock cave or something like that. But we're gonna need to expand probably out this way. We'll probably just make it like bigger around there. So we we'll just delete the path. Make the expand the path out, expand their the cage out, uh, their pen out, and then we'll uh, redo 
the sections of the barrier we need to redo. But that'll be something for next time. I'm not surprised this is taking me uh, more than one episode's worth of time. But thank you very much for watching the starts of the polar bear pen. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.